Kendra. Today I am doing my top skincare favorites of the year. So I don't even have 15 products to share with you. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it actually was. I was going through all my skincare products, which is a ridiculous amount of products. Skincare is what I love so much. I like it more than makeup. I like it more than hair. I love skincare products because they're the most important. Your skin is most important. If your skin is not looking good, your makeup, there's so much that makeup can do. Um, unfortunately, my skin right now is breaking out. It's hormonal breakouts and jet, like a lot of weird things. After I had LASIK, um, you have to wear these like shields on your eyes and they're taped to your eyes at night whenever you're sleeping. And so wherever the sticky part was, I got like these deep like cystic breakouts where the tape was sticking overnight. So my forehead started breaking out. So it was just not good. But skin is just important. I think when your skin is clear, you feel a lot better about yourself. So that is why I love skincare products. But I do have a love-hate relationship with it because uh, since part of my job is to test out new products, I'm trying new ones all the time. So sometimes that can mess with like if I have a really good routine, sometimes I'll throw in a couple new products and it'll kind of switch it up and my skin will get irritated by a certain ingredient or whatever because my skin's pretty sensitive. It is not really oily, not really dry, it's pretty normal, but it's sensitive to certain things. I'll break out quick if something irritates my skin. Um, I get hormonal breakouts every month and just certain things, like if I eat a lot of um, sweets I'll break out. So I think it's really important to just listen to your skin and you can usually know what is going on with your skin, like why you're breaking out. Um, if you go on Pinterest, you can, there's a thing it's called like the areas of your face where you break out and it's usually tied to certain things. I believe this is hormonal, this is like pollutants, um, environmental, bacteria, that sort of thing. And then your forehead I think is digestion. The other thing I wanted to address before I start is I'm using a lot of new products right now that I'm going to be including in my upcoming skincare routine. It is getting so dark outside. It is so stormy. I love it. Um, so I'm using a lot of Paula's Choice products and a lot of Juice Beauty products, which I really, really like. But they're not going to be in today's video because I literally just started trying them in December. So that would not be right to talk about them in yearly favorites. So I just want to let you know when I post that video, that is what I've been using recently. So don't be like, well, why did you talk about all these products and none of them are in this? Um, these are things that I've been using that I know I like. So, okay, with that said, let's get started. So my first product is my absolute favorite of the year. I'm so excited that I started using this product. It's by Cosmetics and it's their Purity Solution Nourishing Deep Cleansing Oil. So what you do with this is pump a little bit onto your hands and I'll put it on dry skin. I'll rub it all over my face first to break up your face makeup and then onto your eyes and it'll take all of your eye makeup off in one sweep. It's so great. It's so gentle. It doesn't leave an oily residue, which coconut oil does, which is what I was using before. And this is in a convenient pump. I love pumps so much. So if you guys are looking for a new way to take off your makeup, it really deep cleans your skin and gets all the gunk out. It's been really hard lately for my face because after I had LASIK, so I'm not supposed to rub my eyes for two weeks, so I just started putting mascara back on and I'm just very cautious while I'm washing my eyes. And my eyelashes have been so bad that the drops that they gave me just completely messed up my eyelashes that so they're really sparse. I'll talk about it more in my LASIK video when I film that. Next up I have a scrub. This is by Derma E. It's their Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. So the Purifying line is a really good line to help you just get all the gunk out of your skin and just keep it really clean and fresh. Um, this exfoliant is supposed to lift away pollutants and impurities. So there's green tea in here for antioxidants, aloe leaf juice for hydration, which is what I notice, and then apricot seed powder for the exfoliation. So this is gentle enough to use on a daily basis. I use it probably every other day, but it's really, really nice. Um, and it's like this deep kind of charcoal color. The reason I really, really like this scrub is because when you use it, your skin feels like afterward, it feels extremely hydrating. Um, this is what I, a lot of times I'll do this and then I'll go in with this right after because 
It really just gets everything off of your skin. My skin feels incredibly clean afterwards and it feels so, so nice. Okay, next up I have a product that's really good for pimples. This is by the company Just Natural. It's the Manuka Acne Treatment. You wouldn't typically think to put an oil on your breakouts, but this is my absolute favorite product. If I ever have a breakout coming, if I see it kind of forming, this is what I grab. This is my second bottle of this. So I pulled this up on the website because I wanted to tell you kind of what it does. So it says that Manuka Essential Oil has more anti-inflammatory and antibacterial than any other ingredient and it's thought to be 30 times more powerful than tea tree oil against bacteria that causes acne. So it will unblock your pores and get rid of that bacteria and then it'll heal your skin. So a lot of times when you use acne treatments, they can just dry your pimples out and then you're left with like a flaky patch. This actually treats the pimple as well. So it'll kill it and then it'll treat your skin so you can't really tell that you had anything there to begin with. I swear when I put this on at night, it'll completely, not, sometimes it won't be completely gone, but sometimes it has gone completely away overnight. Um, I love this stuff so much. If you guys need some type of spot treatment in your life, try this out. The next product that I like to use along with that product to help with my breakouts is the Derma E Tea Tree and E Antiseptic Cream. So this you can use for a lot of different things. I use it for acne, but you can also use it for um, rashes, for dermatitis, for sunburn, I used it for, I really like that. So it's just a really good product to kill any bacteria that you have. What I do with this is apply it like a moisturizer. So if I have just a lot of problems going on in my skin, I will put this on all over my face overnight. And what it does is it just really heals your skin. So the vitamin E protects your skin's fatty acids, it fights free radicals, and it also hydrates your skin to help with the recovery process. Because when your skin is breaking out, you need to also think about healing it as opposed to getting rid of the breakouts. So this will use if I have bigger areas of problem. Like for this, I like to just spot treat with this. Like if I have a little cystic breakout coming on, if I have a white head, I will just use that. But this, like say my whole forehead is just like not nice. I will put this all over my forehead like I would a moisturizer and that'll do the trick. So next up I have a moisturizer. This is by Andalou Naturals. It's the Beta Hydroxy Complex Recovery Cream. This is something that I like to use when I don't want something very heavy on my skin at night. So this is supposed to help speed your healing as well. So I like to use this in conjunction with those three just to help my skin just heal overnight. It feels incredibly soothing on your skin. It smells so good. Oh, it just smells like citrus. Annalie Natural products smell amazing. So there is willow bark extract in here to clarify your skin and minimize pores. It also curbs bacteria and balances excess oil. So if you guys are oily, this is a really good moisturizer for you. There's also probiotics in here to help fight hyperpigmentation, even at your skin tone and texture. And then there is a lot of aloe vera in here. So it'll calm your skin down, help with inflammation. If your skin is irritated, this will just soothe it and it feels very, very nice overnight. Okay, this next product is one of my favorites of the year. So this is the Cora's Pomegranate Moisturizing and Balancing Cream Gel. So this is a mattifying product, but I don't really notice it that much. Um, I usually use this at night, but you can use this during the day if you want to. Just add a sunscreen on top of it. So this will help to minimize your pores. It'll help to, um, you know, if you have excess oil and it just evens out your skin tone, it helps with texture. When you wake up in the morning, your skin will just look even. And then there's also hyaluronic and salicylic acid, which I didn't even know there was that in there. Um, so that's supposed to help with an immediate moisture boost and just improve your overall smoothness in your skin. So if you deal with uneven skin tone, if you have a lot of redness, if you have large pores, this is a product I would recommend for you. Next up, I have a mask. This is by Derma Eat. It's again from the purifying line. It's a two-in-one charcoal mask with marine algae and activated charcoal. And this is two in one because when you wash it off, there's a little bit of exfoliation in it. So you kind of get a double duty product. This is your typical kind of charcoal mask. When you put it on, it'll dry. And when you wash your skin, it'll kind of extract any gunk, any bacteria that was in your pores. So I like to use this about once a week to keep my skin in check. Um, if I haven't been washing my makeup brushes if I haven't been you know that is like one thing that I always notice if I break out sometimes it's usually because my makeup brushes are dirty you don't have to use this all over your skin either so sometimes I'll just put it on my t-zone like my forehead and then right around this area is where I get 
Um, my pores get a little bit larger here and then also my chin and then just let that sit right there and then you can put a different mask on the outside of your face for hydration or whatnot. Um, so this is just a good thing to do every so often. So this next product is so cool. I think it's uh, it's kind of a luxury product. It's something that you need to treat yourself in. It's by Radical Skincare. It's their instant revitalizing mask. So it is a little expensive, but I think it's really good because it's not something that you use every single day. So you kind of can spread out the money over time. So you turn this up like this, pump a little bit out, and it looks just like a liquidy moisturizer. So you put it all over your skin and all of a sudden, I talked about this in one of my my evening skincare routine, I think. I will link it down below. It'll start to like foam in certain areas of your skin. It'll start to pop and fizzle. It is a bizarre experience, but it's kind of fun. Um, so I notice right around here, like where I have more larger pores, it foams a lot. And it, like you look in the mirror and you're like, what is going on? But it's supposed to bring more oxygen to your skin and help your skin kind of breathe. It's good for anti-aging. It is a mask that I like to use to really help treat my skin. And then when you wash your face, your skin will look so radiant. I just noticed when I use this that my skin looks a lot more healthy and fresh and revitalized and just kind of like, um, honestly, like your skin just drank a glass of water. So last up is my daytime moisturizer. This is what I've been using for the majority of the year. This is my second tube of this. This is the Hydropeptide Solar Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So there is acai, green tea, aloe, and hyaluronic acid in here. I like this because it's an anti-aging moisturizer. It also has sunscreen. It has a little bit of tint, so it'll self-adjust to your skin tone. So I find that when I use it, my skin just looks even without even putting any makeup on. It reminds me a lot of the Origins Vitazing, but it's not... Origins products, believe it or not, are kind of irritating to your skin if you look them up. Some of the ingredients in them are just not the best for your skin. So I find this acts a lot like the Origins Vitazing does in the way that it adjusts to your skin tone, but over time, this has made my skin look a lot better. I like this because it's very lightweight, but it still keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day. It lays really nicely underneath your makeup. It's just an all around really good day cream. So that is it for my favorites for the year. I feel like this was kind of anticlimactic because I didn't really have like a ton of things to share with you guys. Um, I don't know. I, I talk about skincare so frequently and things are always changing depending on my skin, depending on what I'm liking. So you guys know other products that I like that were in my monthly favorites. It's just kind of like so overwhelming to find things that you liked the whole year. It's just like a daunting task. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye. I love it. I I find that it doesn't add a lot of buildup in my hair like a lot of dry shampoos tend to do on me. Um, I just kind of lift my hair in sections. I use this on second day hair and, th and third day hair and I just pour some in. I don't need it right now.